If you're a game developer, you've probably heard about the general stages that a game has to go through in order to be made. Things like pre-production, production, testing your game, and then eventually launching. Now, these terms are quite boring and are things that real game development companies do, but we're indie developers here. We have much cooler things to make and to do. So in this video, I wanna go over the five stages that a game developer, an indie game developer specifically, has to go through in order to successfully make their own game and give some tips and tricks on each stage as well. The first stage we have is the optimism stage. You just got the idea for your game. Whether it came to you in a dream or you just made it up or whatever, you're suddenly very sold on this idea and it's gonna be the coolest thing ever. Every waking moment, basically, you're daydreaming about your game idea, how great it is, and you can already picture yourself on the next year's Game Awards picking up the Game of the Year trophy and saying your mom, I told you mom I would make this. So you've decided. This is going to be your game and you're going to start working on it. You know that the road will be hard, but you're certain that you will be able to make a great product in the end. You've started writing down some ideas and maybe even started making your own game design document as well. After all, you've played with Unity before, so how hard can it be to make an actual successful game? In all seriousness, getting your game can often be the start of something great. We already made a video before about getting your game idea, so if you're not fully certain yet about what you want to do, you can always click that card up there to get more info about it. In general, the optimism stage here is true to its name. You don't see many problems with your game, which is also often the biggest downfall. Scope creep can already start here where you keep on adding, oh, this would be cool and this would be cool ideas. However, as you'll see in the later stages, this is generally very bad for actually being able to finish your game. So whatever it is that you currently have as your amazing idea, try to narrow it down a little bit and really don't expand upon it. What you can even do is make an anti-game design document wherein you list everything that your game will not be. That way you can always limit yourself for scope creep if it's something that's on the don't be this list. The second stage is the one where you conclude that you are in fact broke. You've written out your game idea and you're still certain that it's amazing, so you start knocking on some publishers' doors. However, Sony, Microsoft, all of the big boys, they somehow decline your game. How can they not see the genius in your idea? So you have to decide, will I drop this idea? Maybe the publishers know what they're talking about if they don't think my game is fit for success. Or should I just find a way to fund it myself? Think about maybe some ways like go get some crowdfunding if you can sell it or start an OnlyFans or whatever. But funding your game can be really hard. Maybe you've built up a bit of a buffer or you've decided that, hey, I'll just keep working on it on the side. All of these are valid options. If you are also working on another job, we've already made a video about that, but in general, you need to accept that then making your game will actually take a lot more time than you will ever think you'll need. No matter what the way will be that you fund it, the most common ones are either you just have a bit of buffer or you go and live with your mom in her basement again for a few years while you work on the game or you do it on the side whilst also doing another day job. Whatever the idea is, it will probably still take longer than you are planning on to make the game. But keep in mind that money will never be a true stopper for you. You can always make your own game, even if you have zero budget in the end, you just have to sacrifice the time until you can release it. Our next stage is the I promise I'm doing great mom stage, as I call it, or as the real companies call it, the production stage. So this is where the rubber actually hits the road. You've booted up your engine, you've started working on some core mechanics and you're showing all of your friends, you're talking about how great your game is, you give them an early build to play test ideally, and they are all amazed by how great your game is. You've got the core mechanics fleshed out in about a week and now it's easy sailing. You just have to add a bit more polish here and there, add some cool graphics and your game should be ready soon. That's what you tell everyone. Your mom is a bit worried, however, because she hasn't seen you in few weeks at this point and all you do is sit behind your computer. If you've already reached this stage, honestly, you're already further than most game developers because for a lot of people it sticks to we're dreaming about the idea of one day quitting our jobs, for example, and working on our own game, but you've already achieved a bit more. However, that doesn't mean that you're there yet. The key goal now is to simply be consistent because as you're working on your game in this stage, you will actually be progressing to our next stage which is the eternal valley of despair. 
you've been working your game at this point for maybe months or even in some cases unfortunately years and your release window seems to be getting closer, yet your progress seems to keep slowing down the closer you get. This is the point where you might get really scared about, will I actually be able to finish my game? Your friends are also done with hearing you talk about your game as well, and they just tell you to don't contact them until you've actually released the game and you can talk about something else again, like a functioning human being. And what's even worse is you even start questioning your game. As you've been playtesting your own game for so many months at this point and always doing the same bug testing or you have to draw the same roads for example in our case just to get a basic scenario working you start questioning is my game even really fun anymore it has lost all of that charm and appeal that you had when you were looking back at it all those months ago some other questions that may rise up is is game dev really what i want to do or what season are we in if you manage to keep working on your game you will probably be able to exit this valley Key points here is once again, has your scope been creeping? If so, you really need to dial it down and focus on getting that release and kicking your game as fast out of the door as possible. At this point, you're probably sick of your game and just being able to finish it and release it will do great things for your mental health as well. And hey, you will have made your game. At this point, you also probably care a bit less about the original vision and how amazing it is. And you just wanna make something functional and playable. And then our last stage is, of course, our launch, or as I like to call it, the buckle down or move on as fast as you can stage. Whether you've made 20 wish lists or 20,000, this is the point where you launch your game on Steam or whatever other platform, and you just have to hope and wait. Will you get three active players or will you get a very high amount of players playing your game? This will depend also the course of your next few months after your launch. Either you'll be having to spend some time on working on bugs and maybe even working on expansion modules. Or if your game has only three players and nobody really likes your game, it's time to move on as fast as possible and start on your new awesome idea. Before you do that, however, it can always be a very good thing to just sit down for a bit. First, take a break from game development in general, and then also do a post-mortem of what was good about my game, what was bad, what went wrong in my development process, so you can limit the mistakes you've made for your next game. Are you a game developer who's stuck in one of these stages? If so, let us know in the comments down below. We love to hear about you guys as well, and maybe you have some advice on overcoming the eternal valley of despair or any other stages and things you've learned along the way. If you're new here, we're a bunch of game developers who are making our own game, Forge Industry. I would say we're probably also in the eternal valley of despair stage, as we're going to be releasing our game on Steam Next Fest for a demo in June. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to wishlist our game. There's a link for that down below in the description. Apart from that, we make game development related content. So if that's something that's interesting to you, then be sure to subscribe as well. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.